I'm Miff and today I'm eating at 71 Irving Place and I got a pumpkin ginger cake and I've never had this before but it's really nice and it's vegan which means that it doesn't have any animal products. I've been vegetarian since I was like five and then I just became vegan about two and a half years ago. And in East Village, it's really easy. <laughs> in Australia, yeah, it's really tough because there's, it's not that widespread down there. <laughs> I'm from Cairns, which is right far up north on the East Coast. And I, my parents live in Brisbane now, which is also on the East Coast. Well, it's just the same as a regular pizza, but it doesn't... They put soy cheese on it sometimes, but I'm not into that. I like just no cheese. The body shop is really good because they are animal friendly. So it's easy to just buy stuff from there. When I came to New York, the biggest transition was... Well, the first time I came, I had to live in a model apartment and I'm an only child, so that was really tough say the least. In Brisbane there was a booker from Sydney just on holiday up there and she saw me at some markets and asked me to come down to Sydney. So I did the Australian Fashion Week and then that went well so they sent me to New York. I don't really have goals, I just like to be successful. There's not like I'm saying, oh, I have to get a French Vogue cover by the time I'm 19. I just take it as it comes. I love Gemma Ward, but that's probably just because she's Australian. I think all Australians love her. Festival in Australia, Big Day Out, the one last year that I went to with my two best friends was one of the funnest days of my life. I was, it was just like good company. I won an iPod. Yeah. Yeah, there's one vegan restaurant in Brisbane. It's called The Forest in West End. And it's just like this university student budget place. And you pay like $5 and you get this massive plate of food choose from Bombay. Yeah, in the city there's a store called Violent Green and it has all of these up-and-coming Australian designers and established ones like Suvi and Lover. Well, I like the, the shoots that aren't just boring in-studio ones. Like I did this one 
It was about four degrees on the day and I was wearing little summer dresses and everything. <laughs> but it was still really fun because I got to go places and see cool new things. No, um, just last week actually, I learned that I'm allergic to facial glue. <laughs> I found out the hard way by having them glue crystals all over my face and then trying to take them off and it ripping off the top layer of my skin. <laughs> It was a really big drama at the time and they got me all this special cream that you can only get in Paris that is for like third degree burns and stuff. And it just looked like I had really bad sunburn and had been beaten up for a couple of days. I can tell you how to beat jet lag. Yes? Well, it works for me. If you arrange a flight so that you're getting to the place in the afternoon, because I can't sleep on planes. Well, this works for flying to Australia, which is like 24 hours. Um, but if you arrange it so that you're getting there in the afternoon, and then you just go straight to sleep and sleep for like 16 hours, and you wake up the next morning and you're fine. If I take sleeping pills on a plane, I get really agitated because they don't make me sleep. They just make me crazy, and I'm like, why aren't I sleeping? I've taken sleeping pills. Yeah. I have my computer. I have a map of New York, which I don't even need, but I take it just in case. A book, 1984, because like when I was in high school, I didn't have time to read the books that I wanted to read, so I wanted to read this one for a really long time, and now I finally can. And a scratchy, which tells me that I've won a cash prize and another top treat. But yeah, I don't know which one I won. Um, ah, my Game Boy Color. <laughs> with Pokemon Silver game and no battery cover and a little smiley face sticker because I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, some dorky big headphones because I lost my real headphones. This is what I look like when I walk down the street. And this is my iPod. <laughs> the number one most played song is Close to Me by The Cure. And then there's like 10 songs by The Strokes <laughs> and other ones by The Cure and The Smith, um, Pixies. No, I just never bothered to venture outside of my parents' musical taste. I did, I do have um, the Britney Spears CD with her on the cup. I think it was her second one and she's like walking through a bead of curtains. 